Hello and welcome to another episode of The Rising of Stockport County. We are back with episode 25 of the series and I do return to you at the FA Cup first round, like I said in the last episode. I'm going to go through what happened off camera. You can see the table there, currently in fourth. Had a decent run off camera, um, not too bad. Could have been better, but certainly could have been worse. Let's just go through the games now. Um, I left you after... A result. Um, needs to go up a little bit more. I've played a lot of camera here. One nil away win. Two more. That was actually the first game I left after a five-one win against Cambridge. So a lot has happened off camera. Our first game was Morecambe away a one nil victory in the Carabao Cup first round. Nice, um, nice win. And they're in our league, so we should have really won that, but had to be done obviously one nils a bit scraping it but we got there in the end then we went for a little bit of a poor spell um yeah also i don't know if you remember in the last episode we were going for this guy from everton this this chap um yeah they wanted too much basically and um i wasn't willing to give them the money that they wanted so we dropped out of that deal and uh, i just put that in the notes here um, and then, yeah, we, we the bad start started against Tranmere at home, 2-0. Defeat, played poor in that game, if I remember correctly. Just didn't, wasn't at it, really. And, um, yeah, we conceded three points, which isn't great. And then, we again, this this is the one that really annoyed me. Got beat by Morecambe at home, 1-0, when we just beat them away, 1-0. So that was frustrating. Again, just didn't really get started again. A poor result. And a, a thing you'll see from the, the four games we didn't win in, we didn't score, and here we go with the um with a nil with a nil nil as well. Just after that Tranmere game as well, before this when we loaned out Bexton. If you remember Bexton, you might not because he's not really part of the first team. He's probably under twenty threes. Got him out on loan to Eastley, who are in the National League. He won't be with us, I don't think, for much longer. Poor, you know, he seemed like he was going to be good coming out of Wolves, but just hasn't been too great to be on this. So he'll probably stay out on low and then we had a nil nil draw to Macclesfield away I thought okay it's better than a loss because we were on a quite a bad losing streak and then we signed someone who I've come to now he's been a very good signing for us um, I come to that after and then yeah we played Sunderland away in the Carabao Cup 2-0 defeat the second half was actually really good I know we conceded two in two minutes and that kind of killed off the game for us um, but we weren't too bad to be honest the second half I was really impressed with our um by the way we played, if we view the match and the stats, very, very even. Didn't have enough shots on target, really. But I was happy with the way we played in the second half, especially. And then we got back on winning ways, thank God, for Colchester at home. It was only 1-0. Colchester? Cheltenham. I don't know why I said Colchester. I do apologise. Um, yeah, Cheltenham, we won 1-0. Malcolm goal again. Wasn't very convincing at 1-0. But at that point, I didn't really mind at all to be honest how we won um, it was Malcolm with the goal I'll let you see that goal now decent finish I don't think there's anything special it might have been a header if I'm not if I'm not wrong there I might be wrong when saying that we'll have to have a look at it now obviously I do all this off camera and I did it quite a few days ago so yeah Gambin who's been fantastic for us good ball in. ah it's actually a ball at the back post nice goal from Malcolm a little bit underwhelming him so far but we hope to continue um, who we've been picking up for and then we played a bit of a um a backup team actually a very big backup team um and we won one nil actually against Everton under 23 is a one nil win Giles Phillips with the goal I was very happy with this win I'm very very happy can um can we see the teams maybe no I think that's the only way you can see it yeah um no one came on we didn't make any subs Plange came, played his first game he's played quite a few times for us now he's been okay I've liked his work ethic and work rate um and yeah, we just scraped that 1-0 win. I was surprised. I thought we were going to get beat because the under-23s usually walk over teams like us. And um, and if, in that game, we ended up winners. And then we played Port Vale away, 2-1 win. So we started to pick up a few more goals. And as you can see, we'll watch this game as well. 1-0 down in the 10th minute and we scored two, one in the 87th, one in the 92nd to win it. We, we thoroughly deserved it. This is one of the, one of the games I remember I remember playing and we, we, we were much better than Port Vale this game. We deserved what we got. Um, so I was happy that we were able to come through with the two goals. Um, Archer on the right here actually played for County a few times last season. 
great ball and to her good finish actually to be fair to him then Garrett is really coming to his own this year despite having to be pushed up to first team left back then there's McAlinden with a great strike and then shot and wins it over the top McAlinden sees Sheaf over good slotted finish into the bottom left corner and we got the um, three points so that was another massive positive and then after that Gambin actually got injured but that didn't seem to have much effect on our form for the few games after because after that we won 5-2 against Swindon Conor de Mayo with a great game the two goals we, we considered were poor but I mean the, the, in terms of us struggling to score goals for like the last what was it seven or eight games there to, fight, to score five I was absolutely buzzing about especially away from home as well I was very happy I wasn't too bothered that we conceded two because we scored five um, so yeah I was happy with that and then we move on to a 3-1 Actually, no, before that, we, we got a new affiliation as well, which I'll go on to when I go on to the signing as well. Um, yeah, one 3 0 against Wimbledon, 3 1, sorry. Pretty much, it was pretty much a 3 0 win. Um, Billy, we're going to call him, scored no goal in the 90th minute. It was very unlucky. Um, we'll watch the goals of this game as well. Luke Plange got his first goal for um, us. We signed him on a free from Arsenal in the summer. He, 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 I wasn't using him, and then I brought him in, and he's, he's been on the bench and hovering within the first team. I've liked what he's been about, his work rate, and that was his goal, very tight angle. A very, very, very calm game, this. Great free kick from Maka Linden as well. And then um, there's our new signing, by the way, on the ball. Over to Graham. What a finish. And then here's the own goal from Billy. Very, very unlucky. Um, yeah, just couldn't do much about it, really. I, f I feel like the keeper could have maybe stopped it a little bit more, but it was in the end of the day. We got the three points, so I wasn't too bothered. And then we got a 1 1 draw against Doncaster at home. Very frustrating. We conceded within the first two minutes, and I thought, okay, that's that's fine. We've got like 88 minutes to make it up, and we got an early goal. I thought, okay, we're back on it now, and then um, yeah, we just couldn't score really after that. We struggled a lot in that game, but I wasn't too disheartened. I was like, it's not a loss. We can move on from that, and we did. But one nil away win against Notts County. Eriko Souza, who's not been as good as he was last season, scored this goal in this game, 26th minute, and then we just saw it out. We dominated possession. We had similar um, similar shots. Well, we had the same shots, but. They're more on target, so off them stats, you think they could have nicked it, but no, Rico was with a lovely goal. Great volley in the near post to give us the three points. And then, yeah, we did win the manager of the month of September, of course, you know, great seat, great month unbeaten. I did change up tactics as well, which I will show as well before we get into the first game of the episode. And then, yeah, lost 2-0. <laughs> Two all saw at home, very poor, conceded two goals within, you know, minutes, and then that pretty much threw the game off. Lost to Mansfield. We did draw within the game. Again, it was poor from us. We were lucky to get it to penalties. Because um, in the Elysian Trophy, if it's a draw, you go to penalties. And then if you lose the penalty shootout, you'll get one point. If you win it, you get two points. Obviously, Mansfield got the two points. Yeah, we didn't really deserve to get that to extra time uh, to penalties anyway. We weren't good enough in that game. And Platt missed the decisive pe penalty. And then McDonald scored to win it for Mansfield. So um, it's all to play for in that Carlisle game in the Elysian Dock Trophy. Because I would like to win that. I'll go far in it. And we need to win that game to, to, to go through. And then we played um, Plymouth away, two one defeat. Very unfortunate. I was I was actually I remember this game as well. I was very frustrated the way we threw this away, and um, we were coasting through. McClendon with the goal, and they scored, and then that eighty fifth minute goal really frustrated me because I felt like we didn't deserve to lose at all. Um, but it happens in football manager in the end of the day. So yeah, we lost that game as well. Um, yeah, then we drew to um, Bradford away nil nil. It's one of those games. Not much happened. After that, we signed another player, a left back. Um, I'll show you him when I show you the other signing we made, and then we got back on winning ways. Thank, thank God again. South End three nil winner. Billy with a goal. Eriko Souza with two. Malcolm did get injured, but it wasn't a serious injury. Um, before the game, we also got um, Colchester in the FA Cup, as you can see. So that's very exciting. And then, yeah, sat at Northampton, we beat 2-1 again. I was very happy with this one because we went behind early and we actually was able to turn it around. Again, not one of the greatest games I think I've ever played on Football Manager, but my team got through it, made a few changes, and, um, yeah, the, the, the team got us through it. Again, you know, dominating the game. We dominate a lot of games. and Sometimes we just don't get the rub of the green, but this time we definitely did. Good goal, to be fair, to start off from Northampton, well worked down the right-hand side, and they were able to cut it back. And then, obviously, Garrett has been great for us this season. Whips it in, falls to Sheaf, great finish. And I thought, OK, we can push on from here. And the later it got, I thought, oh, we probably won't. And then Brooking, lovely ball, Macklin in great header, wins the game for us. Fantastic. And then we did end, unfortunately, with a 2-0 um, loss 
two crew. It was just one of those games. They were just better than us. And um, yeah, because I remember this game because it was the last game I played. And yeah, they were just better than us. And again, you can't do much about that when the team plays better. And I can't even say, obviously, the times the goals were scored were really, you know, frustrating first in the first minute and then right before half time, but they were just better than us. So I had no complaints over that at all. A bit frustrating, but we signed, we made another sign. And I've got the, I forget some of the signs we make. I made another sign, which I'll show you now. But yeah, they're the three games we've got this episode all the way. Colchester in the FA Cup first round. I hope to win that. They are in League One, fifth currently. So that'll be a great test for us. Carlisle in the Leasing Dot Trophy, where we are currently first, but. Everton on 23s and one point behind us and Mansfield are on the same points as us, but we've got better goal difference. So if we just win that Carlisle game, um, we should be good. And I think if we draw, we should be good as well. So basically, avoid defeat against, against Carlisle, but we should be able to beat them because they are in our league and they are 18th. So we should be able to beat them. Phil Neville is their manager, actually, as you can see there. Um, so yeah, let me just quickly go through the transfers we made. Um, go to transfer history. Um We've been trying to get Frank Mulhern out <laughs> the door. We try to sell him because he's just not playing at all. Um, and then the best we could do is send him out on loan, which we have to filed, which hopefully does well um, there. But let's go through the transfers we did, in fact. make The main one we made was Jan songo -O. Um, 98k is worth on 1.4. He's a ball-winning midfield. But look at some of these stats. 16 heading. 12 penalty taken, 14 tackling, 18 work rate, 19 teamwork, 12 position, 20 determination, 20 bravery, 18 aggression, 18 natural fitness. He's the perfect CDM that I wanted because I changed tactics. And I went to my um, sporting director, who's Simon Wilson. I went, I want a CDM, ball winning player, ball winning midfielder. I suggested this guy for a 29. He's got the experience. He's got the stats. It's all of the green ones. And I kind of just panicked. I kind of just went for it. But, you know, look at that. Just every stat that I need him for, he's been absolutely, he was absolutely perfect for. So I'll show you the new tactics in a minute. Then this is that was before the um, the transfer window had closed. So he's he's been playing for us this season. The next couple of signings I haven't played yet. They'll have to wait until January, which isn't too far away. Um, are they even on there? Because obviously they're not official transfers yet. Um, yeah, as well. Kalonda also left on loan. Are they there? Don't think they are. No, they're not. So we can go on transfer centre. Anyway, the first one was um, Luke oh, oh, um, offered. But, yeah, Offord um, joins on the 1st of January. We signed him for, was it 60k? I don't say yet. I'm, I'm sure it says, yeah, for 60k, worth 65. Um, he's a fringe player currently at Crew, who are in our League 6th. Looks like a crack, good left back, got very good stats. Obviously, we just don't have cover there. And I think these two, um, him and Garrett, could have a good um, little battle at left back to see who gets the first team spot. He looks great. I thought, let's bring him in because we've got the money, we've got the backing. So if we can perform um, for us. So we brought him in. And um, the last one we brought in was as well. Where is it there? Reese Hughes, a bit of a um, a bit of a big signing. This 105k we spent on him. I think he's our biggest signing so far. Um, he's worth 60k, plays in the centre of midfield. Again, due to the new tactic, we needed kind of a, an attacking kind of manning midfielder. And I saw this guy available, currently plays for under 23s of Everton. Um, signed him for 105k, like I said. Play centre mid, right footed. Decent stats, and I thought let's bring him in. So he's a bit of a um, yeah, a bit of a risk, but I'm hoping it pays off. Again, we've got the money. We've um, not got much of it left up to 192k, but you know, for this level, it's an absolutely ridiculous amount of money. So I thought I'd spend it on on him, and then quickly because this has gone long enough. This intro, the new tactic. We're going custom clean slate. So this is my tactics. I've I've made these tactics from scratch, and this is what I went for. Um, the four, one, two, three. That's where then Songo. Oh, we're gonna call, we're gonna call him Songo, and he plays there. Sonny Graham, a bit more of an attacking role he has, and then Sheaf plays as a centre mid attacking player. Yeah, we got fairly wide overlaps, play through the middle, short passing, um, high tempo play for set pieces, shoot on sight, be more expressive, and then we've got regroup, counter, slow down pace, taking short kicks to the centre backs and the left backs. Um, standard. Um, defensive line, higher line of engagement, get stuck in, use tight to marking. Um, they are the tactics we go for. And because this intro has gone on for so long, I'm going to get straight into this first game of the episode. I'm going to go with this team. Um, the Spy's been poor, very poor, not scored, I think, off camera. So he's been dropped to the bench and we play McAlinden instead. Malcolm on the right, Susan on the left. Any injuries? Yeah, Senior is suspended. No injuries other than Gambin. 
which is a little annoying. Annoying. He picked up another injury after his first one I mentioned off camera, and um, yeah, that's the team we're going to go for. Um, I want to win. I want to get to the second round of the FA Cup. I want to get to the third and try and play like a big team, United, like City, United, Chelsea. But with that one, we're just going to have to um, wait and see. Um, let's give this some instructions. If the assistant manager's got any, we're going to go passionate. I'm going to go with underdogs, but go for a, a give a performance. The fans can cheer. Um, about we're going to go positive as well, and I'm just hoping that we get a win here. Um, yeah, on key highlights. First highlight goes to. Cole Chester, the whip it. Ah, that's a poor goal. Tyler Smith, I don't get how he was able to get that shot away there, I can't lie. Senior Naismith, couldn't deal with. Ah, poor 1 0 down already. Tactics obviously not working too well there. We've been on top as well in terms of possession. Got anxious, he's furious, very frustrated. Harriet has got injured for them. He's going to stay on, though. Picked up their assist. We've had no highlights currently. Going to demand, demand some more. What, at least a highlight before half-time. Will we get it? Hmm. It's not looking like we are. What a boring half for us, personally. We've gone 1-0 down, and we didn't get a highlight. And the only highlight was their goal. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to say, sir, if I want to say, show me something else in the second half. I'm going to start the second half. I want, to go positive. I want to go from attacking and tell them to get creative. Souza's not played well, so depending on what happens in this highlight, I'm going to sub off Souza, but McAlinden to Malcolm. Oh, Mac Oh, they need to go in. Souza's crosses, headed away, dealt with. Oh, did they score? Good tackle, Sonny Graham. We know we can rely on Sonny Graham. I'm going to bring off Souza as well for plan. G can play left wing. He's been playing well for us there. How we didn't score from that highlight is actually beyond me of mistake. McAlinden gets it to Malcolm. An overlap from Brookie, he's played well for us as well. Sheaf, McAlinden. It's got to go in. It's got to go in. We still look for that equalising goal. Brookings picked up a knock. A damaged foot. I'm going to go attacking. I'm going to bring off Brookings as well. For Phillips, he's going to have to do a shift at right back for us. Let's say show some passion. We're struggling here for a goal. Malcolm's not played well as well. So I'm going to do that. Bring on the spy. Put McLinden on the left. Plunge on the right. Put him attacking as well. And we'll put him as a poacher. And I'm hoping we can get this goal. Can I? Can you play in the centre midfield? I think he can play in the centre midfield. Yeah, we're going to do that. Push him up a little bit more as well into the centre midfield as Shotton gets it to Plunge. I've been saying how good he's been off camera or how much he's surprised me despite not really playing a lot of the first few games of the season until I brought him in for throw him into the lineup. Malcolm, that's poor Matt. He's not been good for us, Malcolm. He was good for us last year on loan and we've brought him on a permanent. He's not quite played the way I would have liked him to. Senior crossed... Ah, game over. Mm, it's just frustrating. I wanted a bit better from this. I'm just going to skip it because, yeah, this thing. I think it's over unless we score here. That's what it does to give us a, give them a bit more of a penalty. That's what it does to give us a to give them a bit more of a game, a bit more of something to fight against. But we're going to give it Songo as he's the best penalty taker we've got. We always do this before every penalty. Please score it by the way. I'm going to go right hand side. Come on. Get in, we get we guessed the right way, the keeper didn't. Second goal for him, the new signing. We'll run back to the halfway line. Can we nick a equalizer, take him to a replay? Might as well push all the way up. Might as well. Yeah, I just wish we could have pushed him a little bit more. And we could do to a replay, but we'll just have to see. Frisky playing to that centre back centre back there. Smith not stopping him. Alright, come on, come on. Garrett, good ball. No, don't, no. Win it back, win it back, win it back. Shot him. Right, okay, back to Trafford. Here we go. He's our first team keeper, by the way, Trafford now. It's a long ball. I don't know what we're doing. What? <laughs> what? I don't know what we're doing the long ball for. Should have kept it on the ground. Phillips, who obviously isn't a right back. Ah, oh. oh, it's game over, isn't it? Oh, God. 
I can't believe there's been another goal in the game before the end and it wasn't for us. Oh, well, we tried our best. They're a league above. What can I expect? Even if we score here, I don't think it's all over. Imagine if they make it 4-1. I know we've pushed up, so I think... Yeah, they're going to make it 4-1, aren't they? That's Sims again. I, I get why it's happened, because obviously we've pushed up. We're playing very attacking, but it's still just frustrating. How we've been beat 4-1. Well, that's the end of the first game of the episode. Three, th three goals in the space of what's that? Ten minutes of the final of the of the of the end of the game, and it's ended four one. The players need to be aware that has been far from okay. I'm gonna say aggressively and far from pleased that result. Obviously, Phillips isn't very confident or has lost confidence in that, but that was poor. I, I wanted to get to at least a second round, and, I, and we've not really pushed them that far. We got a, we got a lucky penalty. And that was really the only chance we got. We didn't really make anything. We created anything else other than that cutback we had. And then we sh I don't know how we didn't score that. But it doesn't seem like we really we, we, we really deserved that at all. So I can't can't really say that we that we should have won that because 4-1 defeat and we just seemed... Yeah, we just didn't seem good enough, really. Well, it's just annoying. I would have loved to get to the second round. Hmm... <laughs> And they're a league above, and the league one obviously will be a bit harder, but um, yeah, oh, here comes the um, Mulhern loan deal, which is good. Ah, it's just it's so frustrating. I just, I've, I just think we could have done so much better with that, with that game. I was expecting a bit more. But oh well, let's move on to the Carlisle game anyway. I'm going to give that to the assistant. I want, much, I want to get through this now. If we lose this, then it feels like we're going to be dipping in form again, which we can't be doing too much in this league, as you can see. Look, we've already had two dips of form. I'm just hoping we can bounce back from that, because that is a poor loss, 4-1. Um, yeah, let's just move on to the next game. Ross Harris, 18 years old, so we can stay in the under-18s. Stockport owner dismisses links with fans' trust. Stockport owner Mark Stott has sensationally quashed reports of potential takeover by fans' trust. Okay. See, it looks like Gambin's back as well. We've missed him massively. If he's fit, I'm just going to throw him in. Senior's back. So that's good. He can play. Um, Where is he? Am I yeah, there? Nah, not quite fit enough yet. Um, Souza wasn't good enough, so we'll put Plange, Plange in. Put the Spy in as well. Hopefully he can get back on form. I'm hoping anyway. Play Osborne in that role there. As well, we can play Fish in centre-back for Billy. 87, Sonny Graham can have a rest as well for De Mayo. Is that better like that? Is it better like that? We'll go with that. That's why we need a left-back. We just haven't got any cover for Garrett other than Ashley Smith-Brown, who will actually play this game. No, he won't, because he's been playing for the under-23s. So we won't do that. We'll put Garrett, Garrett back in. Play Ravas as well in goal. And I think that's going to be... Um, the team, we're going to stick with the same tactics. I don't really want to switch the tactics again, but we might have to if we don't get back on a good run of form. Um, second game of three. This is going to be a longer episode. They're going to be a longer episode now because I do so much off camera. But we want to get into League One as soon as possible. And if we don't get into League One after this season and we're stuck in League Two, hmm, it'll be very frustrating that we have to do another, another season in this division. I'm going to attack it straight away, actually. I feel confident. Um, but, yeah, we're, just, we're going to see what happens, isn't it? Because if we can't get out of this division, then we can't get out of this division. I can't clap my, I can't snap my fingers and go in the championship. It's not how it works. Is Under-23s are losing the Everton under-23s. That's quite good for us, actually, because that means we'd finish second at the very worst. But the May... Oh, Spy! Yes, he scored, finally. It's a little scrappy goal within the six-yard box from a deflected shot. But he hasn't scored in so long. He got off to a good start of the season. He scored like three in his first like two games and then went off the boil. But he's got to go back. I don't think we took any away fans. <laughs> don't look like it anyway. We have taken the league. It's Mansfield. I mean, Mansfield. Carlisle, sorry. Remember, offside, I thought it was. We've got to remember Carlisle are um, 18th in our league, so we should be winning this realistically. Anyway, even with a, a little bit of a rotated team. DeMeo shot in, ooh, just off the bar. Might just hit the roof of the net, actually, not the bar. 
Oh, good shot. That's a lucky that. But yeah, this episode will be uploaded on uh, Tuesday. And then hopefully the next one should be on Thursday. So Tuesday, Thursday uploads this week of the Football Manager series. It's uploaded on the Sunday. I mean, this is getting recorded on the Sunday, actually. After the Champions League. After the Champions League final, Bayern obviously won it. I, I did say in the last episode I was commentating on the Europa League final, and then I found out it was live streamed on YouTube. Literally, I was... Like after that, I recorded that. I found out it was on YouTube, so I couldn't commentate on it because people could watch it. So I would, I need to commentate on it. As the spy should have made it too. Osborne should have made it too. He's at the post. So yeah, that's why that that commentary didn't happen. But the next one will be on this Saturday coming. Um, Liverpool versus Arsenal in the Community Shield. So make sure you're here for that on Saturday. I think it's about five five o'clock kickoff, half five, something like that. So just make sure you're subscribed. And with notifications on, so you know when I go live. As we've just scored another goal, the spy from a Osborne corner, nice header, unmarked. Just getting his confidence up. This is what we need. Obviously, we expected to win this, but you know they're not always bankers. These kind of games, we could be going back to back goals. Oh, Malcolm should have done better. It's not far away though. Not far away. Could we get a third before half time? That'd be fantastic. Could rest a few more players. Garrett, what a ball, Malcolm. That's a great save, right? But we should be he should be scoring that, Malcolm. That's born. I right, cleared away, Malcolm. If he doesn't score this game, Malcolm, that's very very worrying, <laughs> to say the least. But we're going to go into half time two 0 up, which is fantastic. I'm going to say passionately, very happy. I'm just going to start the second half off. Um, right, we're going to bring off Songo because um. Don't want to get him injured or anything like that. We're going to bring on... I should have really put someone on the bench. He's like a youngster, maybe. We're going to bring on Sheaf. And just play him in a cam, cam role for now. This is Garrett. Nice little... I've been impressed with Garrett. He literally did not feature in any games last year because of Eddie Clark. And he's come in this season in a league above as well. And he's played really well for us. So I'm, I'm happy with the way he's been playing. As it's Plange tackled for a corner. I thought that might have been a penalty. Don't know what happened in that highlight to be worthy to be shown to me, but yeah, apparently Marco was having a cracking game, but he should have scored a few goals. Yeah, we're gonna bring off Garrett as well. Phillips is gonna have to do a shift at left back this time, like he did at right back. This is why I want. That's why I brought that offered guy in the left back from um, I think who was it Stevenage? I can't remember someone like that. Just because we have the cover on that left back, because we have that Smith Brown, but he's just not good enough. He'll be gone soon, I think. Oh, Malcolm, crashing the woodwork from an attempted cross. Let's get that straight. That was not a shot. Our oh, plan just lost it there. Dixon, Cummings, good one too. Dixon, good finish. They're looking for a way back in it. I think I'm going to go balanced. There's no need for us to be attacking now. And what's the result? We're still top. Mansfield are winning by what score? Let's have a look. Um, as we've scored ourselves, Plange, so sorry that you've missed that goal. <laughs> I can't even find the 23s. All right, let's see the score first. Corner, Osborne again, Plange peels off, heads it in. Great goal. Malcolm's a bit tired as well. We'll bring him off for Eriko Souza. What is the result? Oh, here's Sheaf. Crossed. Shot in, should have scored. Cannot find. There it is, still 1 0. So we will top the group as well, which is fantastic. And the under 23s of Everton will be crashing out. Seems not going to be strong to another victory. Look at those stats again. Fantastic. Oh, off the. Bar, I think, I think off the crossbar there for Carlisle, and it looks like we're going to be strolling away with another win, like I said, shot in. Senior, I think the ref will blow now. I don't think there'll be another highlight. No, they won't, and we have won. A double from the spy helps us um, to get to the um, to get to the win and to advance into the next round of the leasing dot trophy. Um, 13, 13 hours of competitive football, that goal. It's not great, is it? We received a little bit of money. I'm going to also... Um, Praise to Spy because obviously he's not had the greatest of seasons so far. But we're hoping he can turn that around. Trafford, yeah, goalkeeper um, took Ravas's spot again. A little, a little um, unfair on Ravas because he was um, so good last year. But when you can get a better keeper, then you know that's all you can do. Um, so here we go. I think this is still just the northern side of the draw. I think there's a southern section as well. There is. So um, let's just have an automatic draw and see who we get. I'm not sure who to think of who we get unless it's someone in our league. But if we get like an under twenty something something team, anything can happen. I want my, I would my, I would like a team in our league. So I'd like an Oldham. Say, we won't get an Oldham. 
Burton, I won't mind. You know, league above. I think we could give him a good game. Right here we are against Barnsley of League One. Where are they in League One? Fourteenth. So we should give them a good game, realistically. We'll just draw the rest. Blackburn against Lincoln Fleetwood against Sheffield United on 23s. Not Scoundrels versus Manfield as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm fancying us at home to maybe take that. I've got poor pitch condition. Hmm. Let me try and get that sorted. Can we get relay pitch? Wait, the present financial situation. What do you mean? You've given us an absolute load of transfer money. What do you mean, current financial situation? Hold on. Finances. Look at us. 1.1 million overall balance. What? How? I don't get the game. When it says that, I don't get the game. We're fine for money. Okay. Don't matter. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next game. Grimsby Town away. 20th. Should be winning this. Last game of the episode, then I'll tell you what we're doing off camera. And we'll be returning for episode 26. What what we'll be um, returning for. Let's have a look through these emails. Nothing that um, we should care about. <laughs> Hand that over to the um, assistant manager. Good week's break here as well before the next game, which is um, which is great to have. I'm, not, I'm thankful that they've given us that. Yeah, currently we're recording this at 20 past 11 as well at night. Very late recording. But everyone who's still watching the series, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. It means a lot. Um, I don't know when this series will end. It won't... It, there will still be quite a few episodes, but... The um the the wanting of this series is slowly dying out. It's longer, uh, kind of with the game as well. In terms of content, because it's been out for nearly a year now. FM twenty, so um. So yeah, I understand that why, but I'm going to try and at least get to the championship with this team, and then if we do, we'll give the championship a good go and just see if we can hit the Premier League. If we can't, as long as if we can get to championship, that's pretty much rising start. We'll count it to the to 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 near enough the top, isn't it? So. Spy is away of international duty, which is a little annoying because he's had a fantastic game for us. But McIlendon can slot in there very nicely for us. Um, we'll put Sheaf back in. We'll put Graham back in as well. We'll put Billy in also. Make sure Trafford gets back in goal for us as well. He's a, quite a few international duties, isn't he, as well? Asante's away. Gambin's away. Um, Platt, oh, I forgot about Platt. We play him a little bit more as well. Put him on the bench for Phillips. Where is he? Platt, Platt, Platt. There we go. Um, I think that's the team we're going to go with. Everyone's quite fit for this game. So let's just get into it. Last game of the episode. I want to end with a win. A win could take us possibly to second, depending on other results. Um, oh, yeah, we need to get rid of Spy off the bench. And we'll put on. Uh, put Robson Robson on the bench because we've also we've got Plange as a striker as well who can come on if um, maybe McAlendon gets injured so let's just get into this game hoping for three points we should be able to get it 4-5-1 very resolute so we should hopefully be able to maybe get out wide and um, and cause some damage I'm hoping just get into this game. 20th, so we should be running really because they're obviously not doing something right and we're fourth. Expectedly so, we should be high in this division. We're predicting eighth, but I wanted playoffs slash maybe automatic if we could because we have the team for it. Like I said, National League and League 2, especially in FM, isn't much different in terms of ability. It's, oh, Malcolm, nearly heading it home. So yeah, that, that's why I was so I had high hopes for the season because we should be probably finishing within the top, top four definitely in this division. Maybe not higher. If we keep having little dips in the form like we have been, we might not make it, but McAlendon might be swinging that form right round in the opposite direction. Good finish. He's our top goal scorer with seven, which is really disappointing. Obviously, we had the spy on such, like, I think it was like 21 goals last year when he joined midway through the season, and then we've missed those goals. That's why we're not as high. If we had a prolific goal scorer like we did last year, we'd be like second or first. But McAlendon seems to be um, regaining that form and might be becoming our new... Main man up top. 
So we go through the first half. No other highlights. I'm fine with this. If we go in at half time, one nil up, I'll be fine. Get the boys in at half time. Give them a bit of a chat. And we should be ready to go. Port Vale three 0 up against Mansfield. Jordan Arch with a goal there. Yeah, one nil at half time. I am absolutely fine with this. I say just don't get complacent out there. The goalkeeper seems motivated and nervous. I don't know why. I'm just saying just don't get complacent. You know. I'm gonna say get creative. And he's inspired by that. I hope our keeper gets creative. <laughs> Definitely not directed towards midfield slash attacking players. This is Billy Graham. Garrett down the line. Plunge. No. Garrett. What a ball. Sheaf. Oh, come on. Tyler Garrett really stepped up this year because we literally could not get Eddie Clark back on loan. He literally, they literally would not let us have him for whatever price. So Garrett's had to step in. Great ball. Sheaf, who I said I had to prove why we should sign him. Back on a permanently, he is doing so with five goals from the midfield, which is fantastic. Another highlight, Graham picks it up, lovely ball to McAlinden. Can he get his second of the game? Yes, he can. Come on, McAlinden, back in the goal. Sonny Graham with a nice assist. Lovely ball, beats the offside trap, beats the defence. Lovely, got hands with the keeper, but couldn't keep it out for us, which is fantastic. Go through the game, let's make a few changes. We'll bring on um, Souza. I think it'll Robson as well. And let's leave it at that for now. <clears throat> Robson, again, we signed from, I think it was Leicester. No, Tottenham for 1k. <laughs> um, doing all right for us. Not played too many games as, as of late, but the first stage of Camry played for quite a few games. And let's make one more change. We'll bring on Platt for Senior. And we'll just play it like that. <laughs> let's leave that right hand side open. It's fine. They probably won't score anyway. But we look like we're going to be strolling to a... Far 3-0 win. I was waiting if we scored to make it 4. We could still. No, we're not. Offside plunge there. Like I said, he's been good for a plunge. Youngster playing all right. Garrett's tired, but we have won 3-0, which is fantastic. I'm going to say passionately, well done to the boys. And uh, I'm not going to um, go all the way towards Stevenage because the episode's already long enough as it is. So let's see when I'll be returning back. I will come back at the start of February. So our first three games should be more come away. Mansfield at home and Tranmere away, which our first quarter will be a massive game. So make sure you're back for the next episode. But from me, this is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'll be back for the Rise of Football County um, in two days' time on Thursday.